on a practical level, it's something that is quite useful. You know, you can use this thing. On an artistic level, here is something that is very simple to make, but it's quite enjoyable to make. And even if it doesn't pick up uh, uh, radio stations, you will still hear a series of um, you know signals that are in the air. Because all around us in the air, you've got um, electricity, gases, vapors, ultraviolet uh, light systems, that kind of thing. The actual crystal itself, this is called a germanium diode. Germanium, which is the same as galenite, was put into um, this form. So it went from the form of being a rock about that size to being basically a piece of wire. And in here is the actual germanium. And that is what uh, draws down any radio messages that are in the area. These are very uh, special um, earpieces, they're called crystal earphones. They are the closest thing that can be manufactured to the resonances and vibrations of the human eardrum. Uh, these are so sensitive that if you were to rub the two wires on something like a belt buckle or a coin or a soft drinks can, you actually would pick up uh, electrical radio waves. This is called a coil, okay? coil. It doesn't have to be round. We are using a round shape because it's, it's convenient. But the coil simply refers to a large amount of copper wire that is wound around a neutral force. The most basic thing really here is a, we have a cardboard tube which is taken from a paper dispenser. The copper wire that you must use, it's called enameled copper wire. Um, the, the enamel is insulating the copper wire from interference from other electrical areas. At the end here of this copper wire, I have filed away all of the um, enamel. Now that is absolutely, that's literally uh, bare copper. A very crucial factor in crystal radio is the antenna, or as some people call it, the aerial. You need to have as much of the aerial spread around the space as possible. If you have an antenna that's only 10 foot long, you are not really going to receive anything at all. From this table, I have 20 foot of this wire going to the window, and outside the window, uh, hanging down from the window, is um, about 55 feet of uh, electrician's wire. Um, actually, that's really the smallest that you can use. If we were in an outdoor setting, because we have more space, and because we also would need more information, we could have 200 feet of wire. Now what we have here is the earthing uh, wire, which also should be quite long. The earthing wire is connected to a water pipe. There are two reasons for connecting the earthing wire to a water pipe. Number one is that because, it, because it's going to a water pipe, that is part of an integral system of pipes. So the electrons, the energy, when it wants to be released, it can go down through this wire and when it reaches the pipe, it has a good scope to disperse its information. If you are in a situation where we say that you're outdoors and you don't have, obviously, a cold water uh, pipe, what you can do is you get this uh, wire and you draw it away from the main crystal radio, you draw that away as far as possible and what you can do is you can use a, a tree branch or a, a rock or even a piece of metal that you find and instead of attaching it to a, a water pipe you basically bury the end of the earthing wire in the ground so when it, it touches the soil the same thing happens the energy is dispersing <laughs> 